Hi guys, welcome to the healthcare channel. Today's video we'll talk about how can alcohol increase the risk of tuberculosis and HIV. Meta-analyses of alcohol use, alcohol dosage, and alcohol-related problems as risk factors for tuberculosis incidents were undertaken. The worldwide alcohol attributable tuberculosis burden of disease was also re-estimated. Systematic searches were conducted, reference lists were reviewed and expert consultations were held to identify studies. Cohort and case control studies were included if there are no temporal violations of exposure and outcome. Risk relations RRs, were pulled by using categorical and dose-response meta-analyses. The alcohol-attributable tuberculosis burden of disease was estimated by using alcohol-attributable fractions. 36 of 1108 studies were included. RRs for alcohol use and alcohol-related problems were 1.35, 95% C 1.09 to 1.68, I2, 83%, and 3.33, 95% C 2.14 to 5.19, 87%, respectively. Concerning alcohol dosage, tuberculosis risk rose as ethanol intake increased, with evidence of a threshold effect. Alcohol consumption caused 22.02 incident cases, 95% C 19.70 to 40.77, and 2.35 deaths, 95% C 2.05 to 4.79 per 100,000 people from tuberculosis in 2014. Alcohol attributable tuberculosis incidents increased between 2000 and 2014 in most high tuberculosis burden countries, whereas mortality decreased. Alcohol consumption was associated with an increased risk of tuberculosis altogether meta-analyses. It had been consequently a significant contributor to the tuberculosis burden of disease. Although the incidence of tuberculosis has been declining since 2000, 10.4 million incident cases were estimated globally in 2015-1. Tuberculosis also caused an estimated 1.4 million deaths globally during the same time frame, surpassing human immunodeficiency virus HIV, and bolstering its status as a variety 1 explanation for death 1. As such, tuberculosis could also be a serious infectious explanation for the worldwide burden of disease, it contributes 1.6% of all disability-adjusted life years and a few of 0.0% of all deaths, according to the Worldwide Burden of Disease Study 2015. 2. An important risk factor for tuberculosis is alcohol consumption, particularly heavy consumption 3, 4. A meta-analysis conducted by Lonroth et al. 3, including studies published up to 2007, indicated that alcohol consumption of quite 40 grams of ethanol per day or a diagnosis of an alcohol use disorder resulted during an almost three-fold increase within the danger of tuberculosis. Supported this meta-analysis, alcohol consumption was estimated to be responsible for approximately 10% of all incident cases and deaths because of tuberculosis. 4. Since then a spread of relevant studies is published, which enable separate meta-analyses to be conducted of alcohol use, alcohol dosage including assessment of a threshold effect, and alcohol-related problems as risk factors for tuberculosis. Especially, meta-analyses of the dose-response relationship are of special importance, as these effects are long suspected and are observed for other infectious diseases. 4, 5. Additionally, the alcohol attributable tuberculosis burden of disease is usually re-estimated supported updated risk relations RRs, which may guide decision makers towards prevention and treatment interventions. As such, the objectives of this study were twofold. First, meta-analyses of alcohol use, alcohol dosage, and alcohol-related problems as risk factors for tuberculosis incidents, including recurrence, were conducted supported cohort and case control studies. Second, alcohol attributable tuberculosis incidents and mortality rates in 2014 were estimated for the 196 member states of the World Health Organization WHO. Of study level observational data were undertaken and reported according to the popular reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analyses PRISMA guidelines 6. Electronic searches were administered for relevant studies within the PubMed database, also as during a comprehensive tuberculosis studies database housed at the Worldwide TB program of the WHO. The search strategies for these databases were a bit like those operationalized within the prior meta-analysis by Lonroth et al. 3. Because the prior meta-analysis by Lonroth et al. 3 included studies published up to 2007, this search identified studies published between January 2007 and June 2016. Additionally to the above-mentioned database searches, the reference lists of all included studies were reviewed and expert consultations with K. Lonroth and J. Reem were held to further identify relevant studies. 
No language restrictions were applied and grey literature was included, but authors weren't contacted. Relevant studies were initially screened supported titles and abstracts, followed by full text assessments. Inclusion criteria consisted of 1. Cohort or case control study design, 2. Reporting of RRs for alcohol consumption as a risk factor for tuberculosis, such as relative risks, hazard ratios or odds ratios, or provision of sufficient information for the calculation of RRs, and 3. Inclusion of tuberculosis incidents, new or recurrent, as an endpoint. Relevant studies were excluded if they weren't supported the foremost recent alcohol consumption exposure before or at the time of tuberculosis incidence or recurrence diagnosis, as alcohol consumption has been shown to decrease thereafter. 7. As an example, case control studies were excluded that inquired about current alcohol consumption at the time of interview from prevalent tuberculosis cases, as were cohort studies of tuberculosis recurrence that were supported alcohol consumption measured at baseline, i.e. not after the first treatment episode. Relevant studies with unclear temporal relationships were included as a neighborhood of sensitivity analyses. Further details on the search strategy and selection criteria are available in Appendix A. Tuberculosis case definition Tuberculosis was defined as supported the International Statistical Classification of Diseases and Related Health Problems 10th Revision ICD-10 codes A15-A19, also as corresponding ICD-8 and ICD-9 codes. Alcohol consumption assessment Alcohol consumption was operationalized as alcohol use, alcohol dosage, and alcohol-related problems. Alcohol use corresponded to measurements of a lifetime or current use, also as other qualitative and frequency-based measurements. Past alcohol use denoted measurements of former use, i.e. not current use. Alcohol dosage mentioned measurements of ethanol, pure alcohol, intake in grams per day. The midpoints of ethanol intake categories were calculated, whereas three-quarters of the second-highest categories range was added to the lower limit of open-ended categories. Conversion factors were applied when standard drinks were the unit of measurement. Relying on the country, one standard drink contains 8 to 14 grams of ethanol 8. Alcohol-related problems included measurements of alcohol use disorders, also as physical health conditions related to chronic excessive alcohol consumption e.g. alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver and alcoholic polyneuropathy. Detailed descriptions of the data extraction and quality assessment are available in Appendix A. The primary outcome was the RR for alcohol consumption as a risk factor for tuberculosis. Categorical meta-analyses were conducted for alcohol use versus no alcohol use and alcohol-related problems versus no alcohol-related problems, including abstainers and drinkers, as risk factors for tuberculosis. Inverse variance weighted their simonian layered random effects models were utilized in these analyses to permit between study heterogeneity. 9. The Cochrane's Q and I2 statistics were computed to quantify variation within the RRs because of between study heterogeneity, whereas p-values from Eggers regression-based test were computed for the assessment of publication bias 10 to 12. Apart from these analyses, subgroup meta-analyses were conducted supported stratifications by study design and control for confounding, also as supported the tuberculosis burden and problem drinking within the studied country. The stratification concerning the tuberculosis burden was supported the number of tuberculosis cases, as detailed within the Worldwide Tuberculosis Report 2015-13, whereas the stratification concerning problem drinking was supported total per capita alcohol consumption among drinkers and patterns of drinking scores from the Worldwide Status Report on Alcohol and Health 2014-14. Linear dose response meta-analyses were administered for alcohol dosage as a risk factor for tuberculosis, where different levels of ethanol intake in grams per day were modeled as compared with no alcohol use current abstention. Studies required a minimum of three or more ethanol intake categories for inclusion within the alcohol dosage meta-analyses. These analyses involved linear two-stage meta-regression models as described elsewhere 15. Additionally, categorical dose-response meta-analyses were conducted to research a possible threshold effect, using the categories of is less than or equal to 24 grams, greater than 24 to is less than or equal to 60 grams, and greater than 60 grams of ethanol intake per day, all versus no alcohol use. As before, publication bias was assessed by using Eggers regression-based test 14. All meta-analyses were conducted using Stata statistical software version 14.1. The burden of disease analyzes the alcohol attributable tuberculosis burden of disease included incidence and mortality, which were estimated by using alcohol attributable fractions 16. These fractions estimate the proportion of tuberculosis incidence and mortality which may not have occurred under the theoretical minimum exposure of lifetime alcohol abstention 17. 
As a neighborhood of those estimations, alcohol consumption status data from 2012, the latest year that data were available, were combined with per capita alcohol consumption data from 2014, 14, 18, 19. Alcohol consumption among current drinkers was modeled by employing endless gamma distribution, see references, 16, 19, for the precise formulae. Alcohol consumption data was subsequently combined with the RRs from the linear dose response meta analyses to urge the alcohol attributable fractions. Uncertainty intervals were generated by using 40,000 Monte Carlo like draws of all lowest level parameters. 20. The alcohol attributable fractions were then applied to the tuberculosis incidence and mortality data from 2014, as obtained from the publicly available Global Tuberculosis Database. 21. The alcohol attributable tuberculosis burden of disease was estimated for the 196 member states, organized into six regions of the WHO in 2014. Comparisons of changes between 2000 and 2014 were also performed for the 22 high tuberculosis burden countries, same definition as above, 13. Although both crude numbers and crude rates were generated, only the latter are discussed throughout the results. Compliance with the principles for accurate and transparent health estimates reporting gather statement was ensured, 22. All burden of disease analyses were conducted using our software version 3.3.1. Further details on the methodology of the burden of disease analyses are presented in Appendix B. Results The search strategy yielded 1108 relevant studies after duplicates were excluded. See Figure S1 in Appendix D for the Prisma flow chart and checklist supplement for the Prisma checklist. Supported the title and abstract screening, 1015 of those studies were excluded, whereas 93 underwent full text assessments. After completion of the full text assessments, 36 studies in three languages English, Portuguese, and Chinese were included within the meta-analyses 7, 23 to 57. Among the included studies, 8 were cohort studies and 28 were case control studies. There was representation from all WHO regions, with the exception of the Eastern Mediterranean region, also as representation from several high tuberculosis burden countries, including India, China, South Africa, Russia, and Brazil. Detailed descriptions of the included studies are presented in tables S1 and S2 in Appendix D from these included studies, 15 were a part of the meta-analyses of alcohol use, 4 were a part of greater than a part of the meta-analyses of alcohol dosage and 8 were part of the meta-analyses of alcohol-related problems. The RRs from the specific meta-analyses of alcohol use as a risk factor for tuberculosis are presented in Table 1, see also Tables S3 and S4 in Appendix D for the sex-specific RRs, 7, 23 to 45. Alcohol use was related to a 35% higher risk of tuberculosis compared to no alcohol use, RR 1.35, 95% C 1.09 to 1.68. In a number of the included studies, the reference categories of the alcohol consumption exposure included alcohol users, e.g. alcohol use never or but or adequate to two days per week versus alcohol use quite two days per week. There was a further increase in tuberculosis risk once such studies were included within the meta-analyses. Past alcohol use wasn't significantly related to a better risk of tuberculosis compared to no alcohol use RR 1.52, 95% C 0.67 to 3.43, Table S5 in Appendix D. Conclusion The risk of active tuberculosis is substantially elevated in folks that drink quite 40 grams alcohol per day and or have an alcohol use disorder. This might be due to both increased risk of infection related to specific social mixing patterns associated with alcohol use, also as an influence on the system of alcohol itself and of alcohol-related conditions. In our next video, we will be talking about what can I do to avoid a heart attack or a stroke. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to form life easier.